Hi there, welcome back to another Yoga Shred class. Today we're going to be focusing on our glutes. So over the next few minutes we are going to be doing some yoga moves and some HIT moves. Um, HIT meaning high intensity interval training. So we'll be doing uh, rounds of 4 minutes and we work for 20 seconds and rest for 10 just as easy as that and I'll show you the moves there's always variations so don't worry about that uh, and I'll talk you through absolutely everything if you've got any questions afterwards please do message me or leave a comment uh, and I will get back to you uh, other than that enjoy so we'll always have a little warm-up so let's sit and first of all just come to our mats let's sit in an easy seat like this okay hands on your knees and you can shut your eyes at this point if you like as well and start breathing just nice and deeply just to begin with in through your nose and out through your mouth now in yoga we generally breathe in, our no in, in and out through our nose when we do yoga shred it can be quite uh, exerting so what we have to do is breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth when we start to get a need for more oxygen so you can switch to that later on when you need it that's it now we're going to take a couple of deep breaths so we're going to breathe in inhale and we're going to ha on the exhale okay a couple of them so breathe in and really push the air out okay in and out excellent now go back to just breathing in through your nose and out through your nose that's it and try and fill up your whole abdominal area with those nice deep breaths okay now we're going to do a seated cat cow now so i'll turn to the side to show you how that goes so we're going to inhale that's it and look up just keep your hands where they are and then we're going to exhale and really arch that back out like that okay so inhale and then arch the back that's it and we can make it more pronounced as well so we can inhale and sweep forward and exhale really round your back and tuck that chin in inhale and exhale wonderful let's do that a couple more of them inhale and exhale wonderful inhale and exhale wonderful so we're going to come up on our hands and knees now and just come up to a downward dog so just spend a little time in tabletop here we're going to go on our hands and knees shoulders above your wrists and hips above your knees and tuck your toes in now um if uh, you have a bit of wrist pain you can always come back a little bit you don't have to be totally stacked that's absolutely fine to come back a little bit so let's tuck our toes in pop our bottoms up and come into downward dog now walk that dog okay adjust as you need to walk that dog out that's it hands are nice and splayed hands are shoulder width apart head is down and looking towards the back of the mat that's it now your feet do not have to come your heels do not have to come to the floor you can bend those knees and so you're getting a nice straight line up through your back like that rather you did that than uh, desperately tried to get to the floor no prizes for getting to the floor that's it and we're going to tuck our core in and we're going to bend our knees and wave forward to plank. That's it. Now let's put our knees down here and lower to the floor with the tops of your feet on the mat. That's it. Now you might find your hands are nestled in here by your ribcage. If so, excellent. If not, reposition them. And we're going to come up to cobra. That's it. Now you can come up to a full cobra if you like. Like this. Don't brace your arms out and look up. That's it. Or you can come up to a half cobra like this. Both um, are perfectly acceptable. So we're up here or we're down the half cobra. Tuck those toes in and come up to downward dog again. That's it. Excellent. And just walk it out if you need to. So we're going to come onto the toes and walk up to our hands. That's it. Then we're going to look ahead with our fingertips on the floor. Put your hands on the floor. That's it. And bend your knees if you need to. If you want to, you can straighten your legs. But let's just warm up slowly. That's it. And just wave side to side. Slightly get that spine moving. That's it. So from here, we're going to roll up super slowly. Bring your hands right up and circle sweep them back down. So here we are up at standing. 
So from here, we are going to open out our feet. Now, your feet should be pointing out a little bit here. Okay. And we're going to bend our knees. Now, bear in mind, these knees shouldn't be going past your toes. And the reason we put our feet out a little bit, we want our feet to point in the same way that our knees are going to protect that knee joint. Okay. So we're here and we bend our knees. Okay. Just put your hands on your knees and just move side to side a little bit. Okay. You can go straight if you want or involve the shoulders as well. It's up to you. That's it. Wonderful. And then you're going to come back to squat here and we're going to inhale and exhale, come back down. That's it. Inhale, weights on your heels, remember, and then exhale, come back down. Inhale, wonderful. Exhale, come back down. One more. Inhale, that's it, and come back down. Wonderful. So we're going to do our first shred. So grab a drink of water if you need one. And our first shred is fierce tempo. So your feet are in those that same position. Okay. Feet are splayed, really nice foundation there. Okay. And what we're going to do is squat down, hands out in front, and go up like this. Fists in at the side. Okay. Open those shoulders out. So down and up. Okay. Dead easy. So hang on and I'll start my timer. Activity. Okay. So squat down, ha, up. Now you can inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's it. Inhale, exhale. Now just start off getting your bearings with this move because it seems dead easy at first. <laughs> That's it. And then just walk side to side to walk it out. That's it. Ah. <sighs> And your breathing will maybe generally become a little bit more laboured. That's fine. So remember, squat down, ha, up. And you can give a ha if you want, or just a up to you. As long as you're exha exhaling, watch that form. Now, speed-wise, go as fast as you want. That's it. We've got eight of these, remember. This is number two. That's number two done. Walk it out side to side. Hopefully that heart rate's getting up a wee bit. <laughs> Here we go. Into position. <sighs> Inhale and exhale through the mouth. That's it. Knees should not be beyond the toes. <sighs> That's it. <sighs> and remember, really pull those fists in. <sighs> That's it. Really working those glutes and those quads. That's it. <sighs> <sighs> Excellent. Three done. Walk side to side. Hopefully that... Breathing's a little bit harder. Heartbeat's getting up as well. Let's go. So remember, you can do this really nice and slow and controlled. You can use weights if you want, if this is far too easy. Couple of hand weights. There we go. If you want. Or we can go fast. Excellent. So let's walk side to side. That's it. Back for our next one. We ready? Let's just put the speed up a little bit, shall we? Don't don't forget your form or your breathing. That's it. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way back up. Well done. Halfway there. That's it. Walk it out side to side, back in position. That's it. Now let's get motoring. This is a time where you sometimes feel like giving up, but let's not give up. Well done. Walk it out again. Get all that nice oxygen into your body and the rest. Feet out again. Out, in. Inhale, exhale. That's it. Remember, speed. Or if you want to do it nice and controlled, if you've got weights, you'll be wanting to do this a wee bit more controlled than this. Wow. 
well done. Walk it out again. You're doing really well. Give your hands a wee circle. If you want from all those fists. Are we ready? Last one. Here we go. Keep going. Well done. Keep going, keep going. Back for a wee stretch. So let's put our hands on our knees. That's it, side to side. Side to side. In through the nose, out through the mouth. That's it. That's it. Now coming up, we're going to interlace our fingers behind our backs like this. We're still in the same position. And point your feet forward a little bit now because we're going to fold forward from our hips. So let's fold forward. That's it. Stretching off those glutes. Your knees can be bent. And lift your hands up as well to get that lovely shoulder stretch. That's it. Come forward as far as you want until you find the edge for you. That's it. And go side to side if you want as well. Keep everything moving if you want to. Or you can just stay still. Whoo! Up you come. Well done. So we're just going to do a couple of more yoga moves and go on to our next shred. Take a drink of water if you need to. Okay. So coming to the front of your mat, we are going to stand with our hands at our side. And we're going to lift our hands up, look at our palms, fold forward from our waist. Put your hands on the mat and bend your knees if you need to. Or you can do it with straight legs, absolutely fine. Up on your uh, fingertips, look ahead, plant those hands and jump or step back into our plank pose. Now put your knees down if you want to or stay up in your plank pose. Feet are about hip width apart. Then put your knees down and come down. And remember we did cobra before. Tops of the feet of the floor, hands in by the rib cage, and come up into cobra. That's it. Nice and relaxed shoulders. Arms slightly bent as well. Don't brace yourself out. That's it. Then come down and tuck your toes and come up to downward dog. And let's stretch out after those temple, <sighs> temple squats. That's it. Now your hands are shoulder width apart. Your feet are hip width apart. Walk that dog out if you need to. Remember your heels do not need to come to the floor. Look down and towards the back of the mat. <sighs> and give a couple of exhales as well. In through your nose. <sighs> out through the mouth. Wonderful. Okay. So let's walk back up to our hands. That's it. Fingertips look ahead and then fold forward again. Bend your knees if you need to. Then circle sweep your arms up. Look at your thumbs and hands by the sides. Now, next shred, we're going to be doing warrior three kicks. Now, if you've got a chair or a wall, you can use either. You don't have to use either of these. It just makes it a little bit easier for you. You can use blocks as well. So let me show you what we're going to do. Your chair or your wall is in front of you and your blocks will be up like this, okay? So your chair might be here or you might be on the wall. So we're going to be doing warrior three kicks. Now, usually a warrior three is when we're standing on one foot and one foot is out the back. So we're going to hold on to here like this, okay? And you're going to be lifting your foot up and kicking right up, okay? Try and keep that standing leg as straight as possible, okay? Obviously, if you're up here, it might be a little bit easier. You can do these on the floor like this, okay? So you can be like here. So it's more like a, a standing split, really, if you're on the floor. But do try and use some, you can use books, you can use anything as long as it's safe and you're not slipping about. So I'll use my blocks, but as I say, if you want to use the wall, that's absolutely fine because you're just going to be kicking out the back, okay? So let's go four on each side. Obviously, let's start on our left-hand side. Okay, 
So here we come. Okay, so standing, nice legs, slight bend in them. You're going to come up and go like this. That's it. Inhale, exhale. Exhale. That's it. Exhale. And try and kick that heel up as far as you can. That's it. Well done. So stand up. Oh, and stretch up. Be careful when you're standing up if you're prone to dizziness, anything like that. Come on back down. That's it. Kick. Go as fast as you want as well. Kick. 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 Well done. Kick. 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 Keep going. Kick. 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 And then come back up. Whew, well done. And you can bend over. Just rest your hands on your knees. Now you can see why it's called a glutes cardio. That's it. So let's come down and let's kick up again. Now, a variation for this is as well, you can just lift your leg and put it out the back. That's it. Or you can toe tap as well because it can be quite hard work standing on the one leg. So do what you need to do, okay? Should be able to do it. Again, a chair will be a bit easier. Wall will be a bit easier. Just go to wherever you need to go. Okay, last one. Okay, up, that's it, up, up, and not only are you working with this leg that we're kicking, but you're working with that standing leg, you'll feel it too, kick, 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 well done, that's it, just try and wriggle and shake the legs a wee bit, and we'll go on to the other side now, same rules, Okay, so you're standing, knees slight bent, you can be kicking out like this, that's it, or kicking out just a little bit, or kicking right up, that's it. And you're working your shoulders here as well, remember, working more than just your glutes, that's it. Whew, stand up, give it a wee shake, bend over if you need to, do whatever you need to do to stretch out. Bend over and start again. Kick, 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 kick. That's it. Kick. Remember, toe taps, perfectly acceptable. Or if you don't want to kick up really high, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Whew, that's us. Come up, have a wee rest. Just not that many to go, two more to go. Come back down and let's go. Whew. Remember, inhale, exhale on the way up. Exhale, exhale. Well done. Nearly there, nearly there. Whew. And just be careful if you're getting lightheaded, please take your time. Pause, don't keep going if you don't feel okay. And come back down again and up. Go whatever speed you want. Remember, that's the thing with shred. You can go whatever speed you want. That's it. You can be more slow and controlled or you can be going really fast. That's it. That says, ah, and come up and rest. That's it. Walk it out side to side. And we're done. So have a wee drink of water. That's it. So pop your box blocks to the side. Okay, come on down to tabletop. I'm sure your bottoms are hurting a little bit. In a good way, of course, nothing should be painful. So down in tabletop. And we're going to inhale. And we're going to come right back. So put the tops of your feet on the floor, toes together, knees wider, and come down to child's pose. That's it. And so we're going to exhale, come up, and curve into cat pose. That's it. Inhale, come back down. And exhale, come up. Inhale, come back down. Exhale. Come up, push that 
back up to the ceiling. That's it. Inhale, come down. Exhale, push that back up. That's it. Now let's tuck our toes under us and come up to a downward dog. Let's do a lovely wee glute stretch here. So you can walk the dog still if you're here or you can swivel your feet to point to the left and you'll feel that lovely stretch up the left hand side. Swivel them to the right and feel the stretch up the other side. That's it. And then bring them back round. That's it. Bend your knees and come forward to plank pose. Pop your knees down if you need to. And then lower yourself down. You know what's coming next, don't you? Cobra pose. Hands in by the ribs. Come up, look up. Tuck those toes. And bottom up and back. That's it. Into downward dog again. Now let's jump or step forward. So we're going to look up and step or jump. And if you jump, you'll need to come halfway up. There is no hassle about coming halfway up. Don't worry about that. That's it. So inhale and look forward. Lovely straight spine. Exhale, put those hands on the floor and bend those knees if you need to. Then slowly roll up. Hands right up. Stretch right up. And come back down. Third shred of today. So this time we're going to do hands and knees push up kicks yes we are so again four minutes of work that's all that's all she says four minutes of work and what it's going to be is there are going to be variations all the time so you're on your hands and knees as the title suggests now you can be in your forearms for this as well so this is a position here okay and be on your toes as well all right so a fierce kick is this a little bit like what we've just done with warrior kicks but there's a difference always a difference if you're on your knees you can pad your knees up okay they don't need to be sore if the mat's quite thin or the floor's hard so we're going to come down now remember your hands if they're pointing forward you want your elbows to come back so it's more of a tricep movement or if you point your hands in a little bit you're going to get more of a chest movement it's up to you so we come down and then when we come back up we kick okay so it's like this in kick in kick or you can be down like this and just kicking like this okay a couple of options for you and of course we'll change it up as we go along so let's go oh, for each side eight. so remember four arms you can be used and start here if you want anyway and kick kick up with your foot kick 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 and remember your glutes will already be a little bit tired from doing those first fierce warrior kicks that's it kick that's it so that's your first variation come back and sit in those heels interlace your hands and stretch let's go up on our hands this time okay remember the shoulders can be just behind the wrists so come down and do your press up and kick so down kick and until you get your coordination right slow it down okay and then you can go as fast as you want that's it that's it well done two done in that side already come back and sit on your feet interlace your hands come on back down to the variation you want now another variation is you can be up here coming down and kicking that's another variation for you but choose whichever one is going to serve you best we don't want to be absolutely smashing ourselves silly that's it well done. Three out of four on this side done. Interlace those hands. Push your hands down. Remember, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Coming back down. Now, remember, the options are you don't need to do the push-up options either. You can be up on your hands and not pushing up and just doing your fierce kicks. That's absolutely fine. Or if you do want to stand up, you can be up here like this and not doing the push-ups okay that's that side done already didn't that fly in <laughs> that's it <sighs> well done other side remember four arms so you can be kick kick pad that knee up if you need to kick 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 
that's it inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale that's it because although you're not doing the push-ups there you're still getting a benefit on your shoulders so just do what you can push those hands down remember those the breathing so coming back down come up onto your hands if you want to and remember down and up okay down up down up that's it and you can put your knee down between each one if you want that's it come back up nearly there we are knee indeed remember those wrists give them a little massage if you want back on your hands down up down up down up that's it keep going remember your variations remember you can just do your leg if you want if your shoulders are far too tired that's absolutely fine i've only got one more to go interlace those fingers that's a good counter stretch for those wrists that's it as long as you're working come back down that's it and kick remember your variations okay if you're down here you could be going super fast that's it well done come up and sit and i do believe that might be us done what do you think well done okay i hope you're as out of breath as i am take a little drink of water and we're going to come down into child's pose so what we're going to do in this child's pose is put your big toes together just like we did before and put your knees out to the edge of the mat pop your bottom down on your heels now if that's too much you can pop a wee block uh, there if you want if it's just too much for you okay because you're going to come down like this so your bottom can be resting on that block if you want stretch those hands out Woo! inhale through your nose exhale through your mouth <sighs> couple of them and keep exhaling through your mouth until you gain some control of your breathing and you can go back to just nostril breathing that's it now from here we're going to walk our hands over to the right hand side get a lovely stretch up that left hand side okay so your torso shouldn't be moving that much watch this buttock here it doesn't come off your heel or come up higher than it was that's it and then come back to the center that's it and then come out to the other side lovely stretch this one that's it and then back to the middle and slowly walk up with your hands been a bit of up and down today so just be careful okay 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 so let's just sit up for a little second and bring our hands out to the sides feel that chest opening sit up nice and straight it's a lovely chest stretch after what we've been doing today that's it although this is a shred for your glutes then you know it's not just your glutes that are working is it that's it so bring your hands into the middle in prayer position and we're going to inhale hands up to the top that's it exhale prayer position that's it inhale hands out to the side now exhale prayer position that's it inhale hands up exhale back down inhale hands out that's it exhale back to the middle okay so let's come down onto our backs now slowly lower yourself down with your feet on the floor that's it and you're going to put your knees together and walk your legs out your feet out to the side of the mat so you're kind of sitting knock kneed a little bit put your hands on your belly and just sit here for a little minute feel your breathing going in and out Still using your mouth if you need to, to breathe. If not, using your nose to breathe. That's it. Lovely, isn't it? Just sitting and relaxing. Just 
just a little second. And then laying your feet down flat, putting your hands up above your head and stretching those toes and your fingers out. That's it. Now we're going to come into our Shavasana pose, which means your legs are about as wide as your mat and your hands are out to the side and your palms are facing up. Now at this point, if you want to go on and have a lovely longer Shavasana for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, please be my guest. Press pause and do your own Shavasana. Otherwise, we will do a shortened version here. Shavasana is a yoga pose, just as important as the other poses. It's the restorative phase of your practice. Because although we cool down, um, if we jump up and start, we will invariably start doing something <laughs> if we get up and walk about. So this is a chance just to lie and just switch off for a second or two. Let your body be at total peace for a second. So focusing on your breathing, feeling your breath coming in through your nose and out through your nose, and maybe you're still breathing through your, your mouth as well, that's fine. And just notice how heavy your breathing is. Maybe really heavy still, might be back to normal. Just notice it. That's all you have to do. You don't need to do anything about it. It'll come back to normal all on its own. And feel how nice it is to have the blood pumping through your veins. That's it. You might feel your heartbeat there a little bit more than you normally do. And just enjoying the time. Feeling nice and safe and secure on your mat. That's it. As I say, please feel free to extend this Shavasana. No problem at all. I'd love it if you did that. That's it. But if you don't want to, you can bend your knees and pop the soles of your feet on the floor and invite a little bit of movement back into your hands really slowly. And then come up to sitting in whatever way you like. Now, you might want to roll onto your side or you can hold on to the back of your thighs like that and gently pull yourself up. Everybody's different. That's it. So crossing your legs. And put your hands at your heart. I hope this practice heals and strengthens your body and your mind. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your glutes yoga shred. Uh, and I hope you have uh, a lovely rest of the day, whatever you may be doing. And please do come back and join me for either a yoga shred or another type of yoga class. I'll see you later on. Bye bye. Bobby, what are you doing in here? Where's your dad? Well, why are you inside? There's just one of them, I think. <laughs>